So you know this controversy. Many of you probably hear about, heard about this. Jenna Bush. Jenna Bush, the daughter of George W. Bush. She was on, so she's working for what, NBC or something like that? I don't know what it is. And so these, these two, these two video, these movies are out. So this is just the other day in the Golden Globes. What is it, like hidden? What, what's the, it's like the, the hidden figures is one movie, and then Fences is the other one. And she's on the red carpet doing an interview with this, uh, this musician, actor, whatever, Farrell, and she says, talks to him about his movie, Hidden Fences. So she mixed them up. So instead of like hidden figures or fences, I don't even know which one he's in, but I don't watch movies. She calls it Hidden Fences. It's like, oh my God. Here's this white woman who doesn't know the difference between these two black films, hidden figures, and fences. She mixes it up. So people, a few people start attacking her on Twitter and she offers a tearful apology for mixing them up. A tearful apology. It's like, oh Mike, I'm so sorry. I'm not a racist. Really. I'm like, and I'm thinking, oh my God. This is the power. This is the power. To just put white, take white people and just get them cowering. Get them cowering or get us cowering. It's like, oh my God. What are you a tearful apology? Look. Do I have to offer an apology? Because I didn't because I didn't even know either of these films existed. I don't even know who the person is. Farrell? I, I think I know what he looks like, but I don't do I need an apology here? Because oh my gosh. And so this is a problem. And the problem is white people, y'all, we all need to stop apologizing for stuff for which we don't need to apologize. Like, this is actually a problem. And white people in particular, you need the thing you ought to apologize for is not realizing that black people in particular are not a homogenous population. That there can be one or two black people that might send some snarky things out on Twitter, but most black people, they don't care. You can mix these two things up. Nobody cares. It's like, whatever. Hidden people, hidden fences, hidden fences, people, this, that. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. The only people that care are a few individuals out on Twitter and then the white people who are walking around on eggshells constantly trying not to be racist. It's like, oh my gosh, I might be racist. Is that racist? Can I say this? And what happens there is we actually cease moving the conversation forward because white people need to grow, what do we say? grow a pair, whatever, too often. It's like this kind of stuff is, it's like, come on, man, stop. And what you ought to be saying, it's anybody who's tweeting out that they got a real problem with this, is like, why do you have a problem with this? What's the problem? Tell me what the problem is. I mixed up these two things, like what's the issue? And you'll find out that they don't even know themselves why they have a problem with it. So we're stuck in this place of the politics of race and culture. Who has the power to define the conversation? And we're stuck in this place where, in particular, where white people are really afraid to just engage in the conversation. And black and brown people, black people in particular, hold this certain card that like, you know, in the end, you can like shut a white person down or use your power over them just by implying that they're racist. It's like, oh my God. And now we're stuck in this place. And, and so many people think, oh, we're beyond race. Uh, we're done with this. We're not, when you get a white person who mixes these two films up and she has to apologize, we're not done with race. This is a problem, y'all, right? This is a big deal. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, who the hell cares? Except that, come on. So we had a long way to go. How are we going to ever have a conversation about white supremacy or the the, or prisons, the prison system in America as really a form of servitude and slavery for not just black and brown people, but also mostly poor white people. When are we going to talk about that? 
Why doesn't she offer an apology for her father's failed invasion of Iraq that led to the deaths of maybe a million people and the displacement now, the dis dis dismantling of the entire political structure in the Middle East and, you know, 10 million or 15 million people without homes? Offer an apology to that, but not to this. Do you, are you with me on that? Do you see that? So this is the kind of stuff you're going to get in the class. Why am I going to say things like this? Because I want to provoke you. I want to provoke you into thinking about things. 